Good evening, Lupus Warriors. Hello, hello, it's Laura. I just wanted to pop in and give you guys a quick word of encouragement for tonight. And that word is, don't quit. No matter what it looks like, no matter what you're going through, don't look at the circumstances. You may feel like you're not making any progress or any advancements at all. But I came to tell you, no matter what it looks like, don't quit. Do whatever you have to do to keep yourself encouraged. If you have to pray, meditate, um, do affirmations, do declarations, you know, whatever you need to do to encourage yourself, I want you to do that. But don't quit. You know, this lupus journey, um, it's one that comes with a lot of twists and turns and things that we don't understand. It comes with highs and it comes with lows. And when it's high, it's the highest high. But when it's low, it's the lowest of lows. But I came to encourage you today again, don't quit. You know, uh, with lupus, we have to learn how to speak the language of lupus. And my friend, anytime you're learning to speak another language, you know, whether uh, you're learning, you know, for those of you that, um, you know, took a Spanish class or a German class or a French class in school, or even for those of you that are viewing this video in English is your second language. You know, with learning any type of a new language, it may seem as though you're not making any progress with it. But eventually one day the light bulb goes off and you realize that you have made progress. And so with this new life called the lupus journey, you have to learn how to speak the lupus language. And that's going to take some time. And it's going to look like you're taking one step forward and ten steps back. But again, I came to encourage you, don't quit. Don't give up. Hang in there. You are making progress every day. Every day you're making progress. It's just like with this hair journey of mine. You know, um, in my earlier years with lupus, lupus took just about all of my hair. I think I had maybe about a, a fourth of an inch of hair left on my head. But today, look at me now. This is all me. I just finished picking down all of my twists. Tomorrow's hair washing day. But it took time. And sometimes the hair growth, it didn't look like there was anything taking place with this hair growth of mine. But eventually, I made progress. And my hair grew. It was a journey. It wasn't an easy journey. But eventually, there was some growth. I didn't see what was taking place beneath the scalp. But there was something taking place. And eventually, what was taking place beneath the scalp it started to show on top of my head. And it's just like another example I can give you is when you plant a seed. You know, you plant the seed in the dirt, you water it, and you don't see anything. But my friend, there's something taking place beneath the earth. That seed is germinating. And eventually, you know, after time and patience and some TLC, you see a little sprout come up through the dirt. And so if you're sitting there and you're trying to watch for this plant to grow, it seems like nothing is happening. But one day, as you continue to move forward and, and caring for this plant and watering it and making sure that it gets a well balance of sunshine and you give some, you know, you give it some plant food, eventually when you're not watching, that sprout comes up. You know, and the whole time you've been watching it, you know, you think there's nothing going on. I can remember when we were, um, I think maybe in kindergarten or first grade, you know, the teacher gave us some the seeds and the dirt and you put it in the little white styrofoam cup. You write your name on the styrofoam cup. You plant your seeds in there covered with dirt. And every day we come in, is there anything? You know, is it growing yet? And the teachers, be patient. Oh, mine is not growing. And then maybe the little girl that sits next to you, maybe hers sprouted and yours didn't. You know, and you tell the teacher, hers sprouted and mine didn't. The teacher will always remind you, 
Be patient. Continue to water it. Make sure that it's getting enough sunshine. You know, we may even have to give it a dose of plant food. And eventually one day you walk into the classroom and your seed has sprouted. And it's like that whole time it looked like nothing was going on, but there was a whole lot taking place, you know. And you didn't stop watering that seed because you didn't see your sprout, you know. I didn't stop taking care of my hair because I didn't see the growth taking place as fast as I thought it should have. It looked like nothing was going on. So I just came to encourage you tonight, encourage your heart, don't quit. You know, um, let me say this and then I'm going to close the video because I didn't want it to be too long. But I got a scripture for you guys tonight. And I always, whenever I'm feeling discouraged, whenever I'm getting a little antsy and impatient, I always go back to this scripture. And it says, those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. You may not understand what's going on. You may not see the work that's taking place. You know, I once heard a preacher say that, you know, when it seems like God is doing the least, that's when he's doing the most. You know, God enjoys working behind the scenes. And then when the work is full grown in the, in the goodness of time, it bursts through like the sun. And so that's what I'm here to tell you. Don't give up. Don't quit. You know, your work is not in vain. It shall burst forth like the sun coming out of its chambers. Okay? So have a good night, everybody. Remember that there is life after lupus. Take care of yourself. Uh, stay encouraged. Stay blessed. Stay strong. And I will talk to you on the next video. Good night, everyone. Be in peace. Bye for now.